Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime, my name is Jake and today we are going to look at the subreddit r slash entitled parents, where people tell us their stories of crazy mums and dads who think they're entitled just because they have kids. If you're new around here, please do hit subscribe down below so that you never miss out on another video, but for now let's sit back, relax and enjoy some reddit stories. Entitled mother tries to steal my game console for her son. Recap this story takes place a few years ago in a mall quite far from my hometown. A little backstory. My dad loves everything retro. He is always blasting old music, quoting old movies, but most of all, he loves old retro video games. He talked a lot about this off-brand gaming console his dad got him as a kid. And at the time, he didn't understand it was cheap and off-brand, but he loved it so much. Since he was young and the console was not Nintendo, Sega or a well-known company like that, he didn't remember the name of it and couldn't find it at any store, even with the description he gave. I, like my father, love video games. I mostly play new next-gen games, but I still appreciate the old stuff. I wanted to buy either an Xbox or PS4, either one I bought was going to be so expensive, and I wanted to get one cheap. I decided to use Craigslist and searched up video games console, just to see which console I could get for a better price. While scrolling through, I noticed some retro stuff, and I got thinking, maybe someone was selling the console my dad said he had as a kid. When I typed in the description, there it was. Someone had posted one that fit his description exactly. The guy was selling it for about $75. I messaged the guy and he seemed pretty nice. We planned to meet at this mall near town that was about a 45 minute drive away. He told me he wasn't sure all the cords and stuff were there and at the mall I could buy a wire if I needed one. I got to the mall and we set up the console in a cafe next to a GameStop. We set it up and it works great and we make the deal. I'm not sure if this is the exact one my dad asked for, even though it was exactly what he described, but I knew he would be happy nonetheless. Before I started packing it up, I wanted to play a little. This is where EM, the entitled mother of the story, and her 8 or so year old son come up to me. The kid notices the game I was playing and said it looked really fun. Entitled mother noticed me playing and walked over. Hey, what game are you playing? Looks fun. Oh, I'm not sure, I just bought this console. How much was it? Well, I paid $75. Awesome! Did you get it at this GameStop? She motions towards the store right next to us. I was getting weird vibes even though nothing weird had happened in our conversation. No, they probably don't sell it there. I got it from someone else. She got an angry look on her face. Who did you buy it from? I got it off Craigslist. Not where, from who? Why do you need to know? She did not like that. Listen, I want to buy my son a console for his birthday, but the new ones are all just too expensive. We have been to three different stores and everything costs $300 or more, which is just crazy for a single parent to afford. I wouldn't expect a kid like you to understand. Now, tell me who the person you bought it from was and give me their number. I want to see if they are selling another one. At this point, I just want out of this whole conversation. I wouldn't want the person who sold me this console to give my number out to random people, so I'm not going to give this entitled mother his number. I started packing up the console and keep the conversation going until all my stuff is packed, so I can leave the cafe and just get out of there. I don't think he has any more to sell. I used Craigslist to find one, so if you just open up your phone and… What are you doing with the console? I'm just putting it away. Listen, let me just buy it from you. I need to get my son a gift and I don't have much time. 
She takes a step closer and I start to scoot backwards because I don't want anything to happen to the gift and I hate when people are too close to me. It gives me anxiety. So when she grabs my arm and I immediately pull away out of fear, letting go of the game, she grabs the game and moves it to the other end of the cafe table so I can't reach it. Listen, I will pay you for it. My son's birthday was a few days ago and so I need this gift right now. I'm running out of time so just listen to me. She pulls out her wallet and I realize if I don't start being aggressive she might take off with my dad's present. I stand up and reach to the other end of the table. Maybe you should have planned on getting a gift before your son's birthday instead of trying to steal one from a stranger. She then snags the system from my hands and hands it to her son behind her so I can't get a hold of it. I'm not stealing it. I will pay you what you got for it. She forces two 20s and a $1 bill into my hand and then goes over to my bag to get the controllers and wires I had already put away. At this point, I'm furious. She is trying to pay me less than what I just paid for a console that they don't make anymore. And judging by the fact the Craigslist post was up for 6 months with no competition, it was safe to assume this was the only way I could get this console for my dad's birthday. I go to the kid and take it back from him. I did it a little aggressively because everything was happening so fast and I panicked. The second I took the console back, the kid started crying and now the entire cafe was watching. The mum spun her head around, saw her kid and her new audience of people. Why are you stealing my son's game? She dropped the controllers and she ran over to her crying child. Later I found out that one controller cracked when it fell. It's mine, not yours. I paid you for it, so now it's mine. Either you give me my money back or you can't have it. I pointed to the money she tried to give to me that I placed on the table. Take it, I never agreed to give it to you, so now I'm going to take my stuff and leave. No, it's now my son's console. I could tell she was about to do something like call thief when another customer chimed in saying something like, lady, it's not yours. Entitled mother looked at all the faces staring at her. I assume she came to her senses because she picked up her son and just left. I grabbed everything, put it in my bag and scurried away as fast as I could. To finish my end of the story, I went back home and wrapped the gift. At his birthday, I gave it to my dad and he was so happy he cried. I got the right one. He was so ecstatic I found the right one and the only time I had ever seen him happier was in videos of his wedding day and my birth. I didn't get my own gift but seeing my dad's face when he saw that I had gotten him a gift and I had listened and cared about him was worth more than any game console I could buy. I think it's important that I say something about this whole experience. When I talked to this mum, I didn't see a nasty evil one dimensional demon who was just the scum of the earth. This mum was in a frantic panic and when she said I stole her son's console, I think she truly believed she was trying to do the right thing for her son. Not that this is any reason for her behaviour like this, but in the moment I wasn't able to see that this was a person who was a single mother just trying to find a game she could afford and would make her son happy. In life, it's important to remember that everyone has their own story and it's important to remember in the end we are all human, even though some people don't act like it sometimes. I hope I don't run into her or anyone like that again but I do wish the mum found a gift for her son and they were able to celebrate his birthday happily, just like I got to with my dad. Oh, why does OP have to make an entitled parent story so wholesome? What? Entitled mother wants me to let her son try on my football helmet. A little backstory. I played on my high school football team and was taking my pads slash gear home to wash before a game. I walked out of the PE building and toward the parking lot, 
when a little kid, EK, that was watching our practice comes up to me. Can I try on your helmet? No, sorry, it's probably too big for you and it's pretty sweaty anyway. Now, Entitled Kid didn't like me refusing him, so he started to whine. His mother, EM, heard this commotion and came to see what was happening. What's happening, baby? He won't let me try on his football helmet. I'm sure he will if we ask nicely. Now, at this point, I had started to walk away as I was tired and wanted to go home. Hey, get back here. Will you let my son try on that helmet? Once again, I explained that the helmet was big and sweaty, and I needed to leave. This she did not like one bit. I'm sure you can spare a minute. Here, give it to me, she said, reaching for my helmet. No, I have to go. Entitled Mother proceeded to scream at me and make a huge scene. I finally said screw it and gave in, handing her the helmet. She put it onto the kid's head and he started complaining that it was all wet and nasty. Well, I told you that before. How dare you talk to my son like that? Here, take your nasty helmet. She said, throwing the helmet at me. Look at what you did. Now his head is all sweaty and I have to make him shower. She stormed off and I gladly have not seen her or her son since. That's like maximum level ignorance. <laughs> he literally said straight up, no, it's wet and sweaty, don't put it on. And then she complains that it's wet and sweaty. <laughs> Entitled family eats at my table at a crowded restaurant. This happened a long time ago. I was maybe six or seven. My family and I were on vacation. This specific incident happened at the hotel restaurant which was the most crowded restaurant I've ever seen in my life. I still have no idea why. The hotel restaurant was absolutely crowded. It was like everyone at the hotel suddenly decided that they want a meal at the same time. Me, my mum and my dad got extremely lucky and found someone who finished their meal. We took their place and since we were at a buffet restaurant and there was no waiters, my parents went to get some food. They tell me I should make sure no one takes our place. I agree and wait anxiously for them to arrive. A few minutes later, this family of four, maybe five, comes up to me and asks if there's someone at this table, which I clearly am sitting at. I reply saying that they can't have it, unfortunately. So they move on looking for somewhere else to sit. Or so I thought. A moment later, they come back with food in their hands. They sit down without saying a word. I told them they can't sit here, but they completely ignore me. At the time, I was intimidated by the father, but now looking at it, he wasn't intimidating at all. I was just a little kid back then. I didn't have a phone, so I had to sit there and watch them eat, until one of my parents comes back. A few minutes later, my mum arrives. She asks me what's going on. I explain to her that these people sat down at our table, even though I told them not to. Mum went to tell dad as I waited for another minute with these strangers. My dad is definitely intimidating, however. He tells them to get away, but they'd already finished most of their food, so they didn't really care. That's really it. Hope you got annoyed. One more thing, at another part of the hotel, I saw the same father again, so I shouted, Dad, that's the guy that took our place and you told him to go away. I didn't know that was impolite. My father told me not to do that soon after, but not before everyone, including the entitled parents, noticed what I said. I know we probably wouldn't do these things, but there's so many things that you could have done, like just like thrown their plates on the floor or something and got, oh, sorry, uh, I didn't realize you were here because you're not supposed to be here. Or just started like screaming in one of their ears until they leave. I'm not allowed to sit in a public area because Entitled Mother owns it and it's reserved for her kids. So I was being my sad, lonely self on my phone in a park sitting on a bench and I was about to tell my friend to come to the park, 
but you guessed it, Entitled Mother comes with Entitled Kid. I looked up, but didn't pay attention to them. And by the way, the kid looked about 10 years old. Anyway, on with the story. The kid walks over to me and sits beside me and looks over to my phone, which is kind of a bad phone. And he asked if he could play the game on my phone, which was just Snapchat. Here was the conversation that I remember, and my memory is bad, so bear in mind that bits were probably added or left out. Can I play on your phone? Sorry, not a game, it's just an app that I can text people. Let me play now. No, calm the baps, it's my phone. I'm telling my mummy. I kid you not, he sounded like he was being hit. I had laughed it off, still kind of shocked though. I was about to text my friend, but Entitled Mother comes up and starts screeching. Give my son your phone or get off the bench, as it's reserved for my children. No, it's not. I came way before you and you can't reserve benches. Get off now. No, I don't think I will. I'm still texting my friend about this situation. Entitled Mother tries to grab my phone. Give your phone to my son, he deserves it. Yeah, give it now. I was being rude now. Screw off, it's my phone and the council owns this park. Don't be rude to me, I am far older than you. Yeah, I know, but I don't care. Leave me alone and get another bench. She left after huffing and I was happy. I just keep thinking of the Avengers scene with uh, Captain Rogers, you know, Captain America when he's like, No, I don't think I will. <laughs> Hey everyone, I hope you all had a really good day and that you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out some other videos, then click on screen right now or check out the playlist down below. If you enjoyed that video, then please do leave a like. And if you want to submit your own stories, then you can do so by joining the Discord in the top link in the description. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.